Hi everybody and welcome back to another tutorial from my Simply series range of books. Today I'm going to be taking you through The Lover's Secret from Simply Romantic. If you want to know where I got the book from there'll be a link coming up above my head here or there'll be a direct link in the description bar underneath this video. So if you want to know how to play The Lover's Secret from Simply Romantic then please keep watching. So the first thing I want to do is play it all the way through then I should take you through parts of the music. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to go through is bars two and bar four, where you've got those tied over notes. So if I go from bar one, from the beginning, so what you want to do is when you get to the F in bar two, count to two, so one, two, one, and then carry on. So one, two, one. Two, one. If you want to just ignore that tie to start with and play all those notes in, sometimes it can be easier to do it that way. Because sometimes it's easier to imagine taking notes out if you've played those notes there. What you're trying to do is when you're doing a tie is trying to take out a note that you can't imagine is there so you've never played it so it's hard to imagine something that you've that you've never seen or, or done before so if you take the tie away and just play f f g f d then when you come to put the tie back in because you've already played that f that you shouldn't technically be playing it's much easier to imagine taking it out so one two you can sort of i can imagine doing another bow stroke for that That's all you're going to do for that rhythm. You've got plenty of more of those rhythms coming in from bar 22 all the way along there as well. So everything else is pretty much self-explanatory. Watch out when you get to bar 15 and 16 that you just have enough bow. Make sure that the two notes before that just prepare you so that you're either going to be near the point of the bow. So just practice one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Just practice that. And then you've just got a D sharp thrown in there for good measure, which is in bar um, 32, 33, 34. So that D sharp is just going to be a stretched third finger. So the third finger goes on the dot or on the line where it normally goes, and it's just going to be a fraction above that. So if I just put my little finger there, take it away, that's where it's going to be. So just stretch it up with the third finger to give you a D sharp. So thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to check in the description bar underneath this video. I'll have links to all the other book series, such as Simply... Um, gypsy, Simply Jigs and Reels, Simply Jazz and Blues, Simply Country and all that kind of thing. So they'll all be linked underneath this video. And thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.